All right, I'm in rural New Jersey today, and it's hot out. I'm already sweating. Um, at the Paul and Skill Viaduct. Now, it was built by the Delaware, Lackawanna, and Western Railroad in 1910. This has seven massive arches. It's about 1,100 feet long, and at its highest point is 115 feet high. At the time, it was the largest concrete structure in the world until just a few years later in 1915, a much bigger viaduct was built in Pennsylvania. But really this one, the, the uh, pollen skill was really the first of very large viaducts to be built. And uh, I think it was decommissioned or closed, whatever you want to call it in 1979. And probably the most interesting thing about this bridge are the passageways that go down inside the bridge in those arches, those seven arches that were built for inspecting and maybe servicing parts of the bridge. The access was down through these manholes and that's where I'm headed today, going down inside this viaduct and this is how you get inside. It's a tight fit, so I don't know, I'm gonna have to see. Oh, it's wet down there too. So it looks like it's like uh, maybe two feet that you have to crawl. I don't know, I've never been here before, so I'm gonna find out. So it goes down and then it goes off to the right here goes down a ladder. The trick is to not get your clothes wet with that mud. So this is where, this is what I'm working with here. These are sketchy. It goes through, I don't know how many, a bunch of them. Kind of make your way through here. Really cool graffiti. And they get steeper and steeper because the arch, this is just one arch out of seven. So at the, at the top, the very top, you're 115 feet. Uh, I don't know what, what I am now, but maybe 50. Another interesting fact is there have been talks over the years of New Jersey Transit reclaiming this viaduct and actually reusing it. Oddly enough, since it's been abandoned for 40 plus years. Um, but those talks, have they've been going on for two decades at least, so I doubt it will ever happen. But I guess that means that this bridge still has really good bones that it was built very soundly. And for all you ghost hunters out there, apparently there's an old story that a man, a construction worker was killed back when they were building this. And uh, he still haunts the tracks or where the tracks used to be up above and inside the tunnels at night. So if you are anywhere in the uh, Northern New Jersey area, you want to come and check this out because maybe you'll see some ghosts or at least one ghost. <laughs> Interesting. This one has a rope. This is definitely the party room. <sighs> I hope it's strong enough. <laughs> Going up into 
oh yeah, all the way up into another arch. The view gets significantly more incredible. Ooh. Oh yeah, see this? This is capped off. Ooh, it's a hot one in New Jersey today. I can't imagine crawling around this place at night. A lot of people do. And uh, there's a fair amount of uh, reports of people getting hurt here. Ambulances and rescue teams having to come out for people that fall through this stuff or get tangled in it, break something. So I'll see where this one goes, but at the risk of redundancy, I might not keep going. But we'll see. Oh yeah, it does keep going. <laughs> this is nice deep water. It's probably five or six feet deep here. So like I said, this was used all the way up until uh, 1979, I believe. And I think in 1982, those tracks were removed where we were walking up above. So this has a good 40 years plus of being totally abandoned. Look at this. The view gets significantly more incredible. Nice breeze up here. The bowels of this viaduct Looks like nothing special. It's a lot cooler though. I'm gonna have to slide down here. Here we go. <laughs> Somebody in a past video of mine commented something about how long I'd be able to crawl into these places and do all this. I don't know, I'll be able to do it for as long as I can do it. I've been doing this my whole life. Many, many years of crawling through all these old places. Probably a good hangout for some interesting spiders. Backpack, backpack always gets snagged. Always the backpack. I gotta take my backpack off. I can't get out of here without this thing coming off. It's way too tight. 
Here we go. And that's it, that's the Paul and Skill viaduct, closed since 1979 in uh, pretty beautiful, rural, northern New Jersey. All right, I'm getting back on the road. I'll see you in the next video.